Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about how and why I stopped using the word should in my everyday speech, and hopefully in my thoughts as well. This may seem like a little bit of a radical thing, like should is a very common word and people use it all the time, and you may think, why would you want to get rid of that word from your vocabulary? I found that for myself, a lot of the times that I was using should, especially in my own thoughts, it was associated with an unhealthy way of thinking. A lot of the times I would beat myself up with the word should, like I would say, oh, I shouldn't have said that, or I should have done this in that situation, and I would feel bad after I had those thoughts. I also would use the word should when thinking about other people, and sometimes when talking about them, and I'd use it in ways that would make me feel irritated or angry or frustrated with others. For example, I would say, oh, he shouldn't have said that, or she shouldn't have done that, or she should have known better than to do that, things like that. And when I would think like that, or say those things to other people, I would often feel judgmental towards the person that I was talking about. And that's not a way that I want to be, it's not how I want to feel towards others. And I found that thinking that way often contributed to conflict in my relationships with other people. So that's one reason that I wanted to get rid of that word. There's another reason, though, which is the word's vagueness. Oftentimes I hear people say, oh, we should do this, or should we do this, or should we do this? It's not always clear what the word means. Sometimes it can be used to express personal wants or desires. So someone might say, we should hang out, when what they really mean is, I'd like to hang out with you, or I want to hang out with you. Sometimes it puts you a little bit on the spot to say, I want to hang out with you, but I actually like that. It sort of shares a kind of vulnerability. It's more personal. People also use the word should to describe needs, like, I should do this in order to get reach this goal, and sometimes it's something that is really necessary, and sometimes it's something that is not necessary but would be a good idea, and in other cases it's not really beneficial at all. One thing I think about a lot is what I call the vague sense of obligation, and I think most of us are probably familiar with this. Like, have you ever been sitting around procrastinating and you have this thought like, oh, I really should be doing something else, I should be doing my homework, or I should be doing these chores? In some of those cases, what I'm thinking about is something that I really want to be doing. And in other cases, I might not want to be doing it, but I really need to do it in order to attain some sort of goal. In other cases, though, it's not really all that important. Like, when I look back over my life, there are a lot of times when I didn't do my homework, and it didn't really harm me at all in the long run. So, some of the times when we examine that should in our head, we find that there isn't necessarily a valid reason behind that vague sense of obligation we feel, and we can ch then choose not to do what it is that we have lurking in that should statement. One of the reasons that I wanted to stop using the word should is to learn to discern what was really a need from what was a want, from what was some sort of societal pressure that was put on me that didn't necessarily correspond to a real want or need, help me to like determine those. So I found three benefits, at least three benefits, to stopping using the word should. One of them was uh, like fighting my own depression, like fighting these negative thoughts of beating myself up for things I should have done differently. One of them was reducing the amount of conflict I felt towards other people and feeling better towards other people, and having better relationships with people because I wasn't thinking about what they should have done. Uh, and the last thing, the last benefit, which is huge, is having a better sense of what I really want and having a better sense of what I need to achieve certain goals, and being better at filtering out those societal pressures that aren't really applicable and are sort of like cultural baggage. So I hope this has inspired you to think more critically about your use of the word should. Um, you may or may not decide to stop using it the way I did, but I hope that you will gain greater awareness of it, and that this will enhance your life. Thank you.